time. We gotta load up on fish while we can. Oh my god, explosion right there. Oh fuck. I can't cast the bait this far. What's happening everybody? Uh, today we're going to make some pokey and I'll show you what we're going to do to get started. So you have some grade A yellowtail freshly caught out of the San Diego Mexican waters. Compliments of the Mission Bell. Thank you Captain Steve and crew. Uh, to that we're going to finally chop it and add the following ingredients. We're adding the Dynasty uh, sesame oil. We're adding Newman's sesame ginger salad dressing. We're adding um, soy sauce. You can choose if you want to do low sodium or regular. And some sriracha. To that we're also going to add some green onions and some cilantro. Let's get started. One filet that we're going to show you what to do. So we're going to go ahead and chop it into some strips here. Once you get into strips, go ahead and start chomping it in, into chunks. There really is no correct cut. Makes no difference how you cut it. I just like doing it in the strips, save some time. Once you cut it all up, instead of throwing it right into a glass bowl, which is great for chilling, what I like to do, as you can see I've got some chopped up meat here, I've got it in a strainer, the reason being is on the bottom you've got some excess juice there, that's less fish juice that you don't need there, more flavor from the good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add that in there, give a little shake. And then let's go ahead and transfer it into a glass bowl. The reason we do it in a glass bowl is it will help chill your pokey and you always want to eat this chilled, never warm. Next step, we're going to chop up some green onions. Um, took the ends off. And if you didn't see it on my last video, um, I'll mention it again. Save the ends, throw them into the ground with some soil and you'll reproduce and regrow some green onions here. Once you chop off the ends, Take out about a quarter of the onions off, cut it in half, and start chomping. Go ahead and add that to your pile over here. Next, we've got some cilantro, washed, cleaned. Go ahead and cut that into a little bushel here, and then start the chop. Again, there is no correct method here. You can do a rough chop, you can do a fine chop. Uh, this is mainly just to integrate. Some people like to use it for a topping. I like to integrate it completely into it so that way you get a bite of cilantro and green onions throughout. We have our fish <laughs> and we have our ingredients, so let's start. I do everything to measure, so what I'm gonna do, starting with the sesame oil, 
I'm going to kind of drizzle back and forth twice. Um, rule of thumb, almost a quarter of the bottle. This is approximately about five pounds of fish, so a quarter bottle for five pounds of fish. You can always season to taste, but I recommend slow drizzle front, slow drizzle back, usually about a quarter bottle. Um, some Newman's ginger dressing, give it a little shake. Um, it's probably, we'll probably use all of this. We may use a little bit more, but we'll always go back. Always start less. You can never take out, but you can always add. Got some soy sauce, low sodium. I'm gonna go in, not too much. Again, front and back drizzle. And we're gonna use some sriracha. You don't need too much because this is hot sesame oil, so just go ahead and use it pretty sparingly. Just gonna go front. Let's go ahead our green onions. This is about eight green onions, uh, greens and uh, whites. Take about a handful. Uh, maybe a handful and a half. And we got about a half of uh, cilantro. Little drizzle out. There's a little there. Go. Oh, bam. So we've got all of our ingredients here. Let's mix it up. If you're in a hurry, a cheater way to do is to take like a Vons bag or a plastic shopping bag, put it over your bowl or some, some Ram Wrap and give it a good shake. It'll spin it up pretty good. But for this today, I'm just using a little method of a spoon. You can see how I'm integrating the cilantro and the green onions in there. All right, at this point, your pokey's pretty much done. Let it chill for a couple hours. I like to let it chill for at least four to six hours. The longer the chill, the more it's gonna marinate, the better it's gonna taste. I'll serve it over a tostada shell, eat it with some chips, or just eat it by itself. Some people like to put it over a bed of lettuce or some spinach, but let it chill in the glass bowl. Glass bowl is key. Go ahead and cut up some avocado, put it on the person serving, and enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next time.